Today's video features one of the most talented songwriting teams in the history of soul music. This iconic trio songs has over 100 million airplays. I believe the world will agree that Brian Holland, Lamont Dozier, and Eddie Holland were essential parts of soul music. Before we start today's video, please be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and push that notification bell to be sure you won't miss out on any more uploads. Now without further ado, let's cue that intro. Eddie was born on October 30th, 1939, and Brian was born on February 15th, 1941, both born in Detroit, Michigan. Eddie Holland, the oldest of the Holland brothers, began as a vocalist, performing demo recordings for songs that Barry Gordy wrote up for Jackie Wilson, as well as a few tracks for local labels. Eddie cut one of the very first Motown songs, Barry Go Around, in 1959 before his contract was bought out by United Artists along with label mate Marv Johnson. Now, unlike Johnson, Eddie's time with United Artists was a flop. He returned to Motown as an artist a year later. Despite having a top 30 hit with the song Jamie later that year, Eddie's sales was poor and he suffered from stage fright. When he saw his younger brother Brian's songwriting checks, he understood at that time he was in the wrong game. Meanwhile, Brian originally gained fame as one of the vocalists of the Satin Tones before coming to play piano for Barrett Strong in 1960. Strong paved the way for Holland to join Motown a year later where he co-wrote and produced the Marvel X hit, Please Mr. Postman. This was the label's most successful single at that point. By 1962, he was working with producers and songwriters Lamont Dozier and Freddie Gorman, who will soon be replaced by Holland's older brother, Eddie. Born in Detroit, Michigan on June 16, 1941, Lamont Doja's career as a frizzy haired baby face genius began with a few failed singles recorded for various local labels. Doja had the most promising career out of the three since he was more well known in his hometown. Doja was a member of several groups, the most notable of which being the Voice Masters, which had several powerful members in future temptations like David Ruffin and Melvin Franklin. Doja came to Hitsville, USA as a singer in 1962 after having to make a few novelty sides for Gwen Gordy's and the records label in the early 1960s. His Motown career began to wore out after one failed song. Doja rapidly formed a connection with Brian Holland. And through this connection, he learned the ins and outs of producing and writing small singles for numerous of lesser known Motown singers. After it became clear that Eddie wasn't going to make it as a solo artist, Gordy brought the trio together in 1963. The trio's original plan was to create songs for themselves and others, but they quickly found out that they prefer writing hits for others, and Holland Dozier and Holland was born in 1963 as a powerful producer songwriting team. Between 1963 and 1967, Holland Dozier and Holland composed the majority of Motown's successful singles. Brian wrote the music, Eddie wrote the lyrics, and Lamont assisted with both. Between 1963 and 1967, the trio wrote many hits for many Motown acts, starting with Heat Wave, Quicksand, Nowhere to run. Got nowhere to run to, baby. Nowhere Coming to I... these memories. Is your friendship ring. I can't wait. A love like yours. Instead of hurting back, you... 
Live Wire. In my lonely room. Love make me do foolish things. Hoping to hear you say you I'm ready for love. Jimmy Mac. And One Way Out. For Martha and the Vandellas. I gotta dance to keep from crying. And Come Round Here. You just sit back in the day. For the miracles, can I get a witness? You're a wonderful one. You show me more kindness. How sweet it is. Baby, don't you do it. You've been a long time coming. coming but darling, welcome. Little darling. Little darling got to have. And your unchanging love. For Marvin Gaye. Many of Holland Dozier of Holland's best materials will save for the Supremes and the Four Tops with Baby I Need Your Loving. I can't help myself. I love you and nobody else. It's the same old song. Reach out. I'll be there. Standing in the shadows of love. Without you love, the love I need is the beginning. And Bernadette. And when I speak of you, I see envy in other men. For the four tops. Holland Dozier and Holland's biggest success came with the Supremes when they wrote 10 top 10 records with Where Did Our Love Go? Baby Love. Come see about me. Stop in the name of love. Each time you leave my door, I want you more. I hear a sympathy. So inviting, so exciting. Whenever you're near. My world is empty without you. I need your strength. I need your tender touch. Love is like an itch in my heart. You can't hurry, love. It's a game of give and take. You can't hurry, love. No. You keep me hanging on. Hanging on. Why do you keep it going? And love is here. You persuaded me to love you. And I did not inspire. Holland Doja and Holland also penned songs for the Temptations. Which should not be confused with songs like Ain't Too Proud to Beg, which was a Eddie and Norman Whitfield collaboration. The group also composed songs for several Motown performers, including Mary Wells, The Andettes, Brendan Holloway, The Elgins, Gene Walker and the All Stars, The Izzy Brothers, Kim Weston, Shorty Long, Chris Clark, Barbara McNair, and Barbara Randolph, among many more. In 1967, the three had a falling out with Barry Gordy about profit distribution and royalties. The three departed Motown that next year to form their own label and production firm. 
called Evinicus Records, Hot Wax Records, and Holland Doja of Holland Production Incorporated. Motown countersued the group for breach of contract, resulting in one of the most lengthiest legal fights in music history. The trio was kind of screwed by the label due to them being contracted to Motown publishing label, Joe BT. Due to this, they couldn't use their own names for the songs that they created. So, most of their work was credited to the duo Wayne and Dunbar. This duo was a close friend of the group. The dispute was finally resolved in 1977. Doja noted in a 2008 interview stating, the lawsuit was just our way of taking care of business that needed to be taken care of. Just like Barry Gordy had to take care of business which resulted in the lawsuit. Business is business, love is love. Doja departed their production company in 1973 to pursue a solo career. Holland Doja at Holland Productions and Inviticus Records filed a lawsuit against Doja and 31 others in 1975, alleging conspiracy to prevent trade and other accusations. The lawsuit was dropped in 1982 and starting in the mid 70s, Holland Doja at Holland Productions Incorporated replaced Doja with Harold Beatty. While the case against Motown was still underway, the new group worked on several songs with Motown singers such as Diana Ross and the Supremes and Michael Jackson. Holland Doja and Holland threatened to sue Aerosmith in 1989 over similarities of elements on their song The Other Side to the Holland Doja and Holland song Danny in the Shadows of Love. Aerosmith avoided the lawsuit by including the trio as songwriters. While the Holland brothers held the name and the production firm, Doja went on to create his own production label while maintaining his solo career. In late 2006, the three reassembled for the first time in years to write the soundtrack for the musical adaptation of the novel, The First Wife Club. Holland Doja at Holland was inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame in 1988, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1990, and the Michigan Rock and Roll Legends Hall of Fame in 2010. The trio was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame on February 13th, 2015. On August 8th, 2020, Lamont Dozier sadly passed away at the age of 81. Holland Dozier at Holland is perhaps the greatest producing partnerships in the label history. If not, then the history of music. With over 400 songs credited to them and over 40 number one hits, they catalog alone speaks for itself. I believe it's very safe to state that no other production team would ever be as great as Holland Doja and Holland.